For my Canterbury project, I am working on a series of poetry and creative nonfiction centering my Assyrian American identity. Assyrians are an indigenous ethnic group to Iraq and parts of surrounding countries. The inspiration for my project came from a lifelong love of reading, but also the lack of Assyrian voices in the literary community. In many ways, I like to imagine that I am writing the stories that I wish I could have read growing up. I wanted to share a poem from my project called My Grandma's Apartment. It's important to me because I really view my family's history as my own history. And this poem is about language, it's about love, and it's about cherishing the people who you know won't be around forever, but who will live forever in your heart. This is my grandma's apartment. We sit on opposite sides of the couch. You watch Turkish soap operas translated to Farsi. I read my book. Nothing to hear but foreign chatter through your earbuds and the sound of wind chimes giving song to a breeze. Here, right here, I know that we are temporary. The way I sneeze and you look up from your show to bless me. The way you won't stop asking me what I want to eat. Goli, ochlich hamendi. La merci, no thank you, I'm full. The way I sit to eat with you anyway. Sip chai with grape uncrustables. Ask about Iran just to see you smile. The way you let me speak, Gili Shanit Suraye, even when neither of us knows what I'm saying, because who would I speak with if not you? This is to say that I'm a liar, that I'll never be full, because I miss the twinkle of wind chimes, even before their music ends.